You have to prepare to work hard. Um, this is not an easy job. Um, and I actually don't consider this a job. It is an identity and a career that you adopt. More than ever, we've needed our health care workers. And on International Women's Day, female physicians are sharing their reasons for practicing medicine and the barriers they've had to overcome along the way. From a very young age, uh, I loved sciences, especially biological sciences. And, you know, it's, it's like the same old, like, I love to help people. And it's, it's really true. There's always a need to to help others but for me there was also a lot of the the solving solving the puzzles of medicine Vancouver physicians Dr Jessica Chan and Dr Anna Wallach both say they're extremely proud to be in the medical field making an observable difference in the lives of those around them they hope to set examples for the next generation of girls who are considering these science based roles we want our kids to see strong female physicians in a role that when we were growing up was more male dominated. And now we're seeing people are talking about how they have sons who see male doctors and they're like, guys can be doctors too. And it's really quite the flip. Dr. Chan says there are still some unique challenges, particularly affecting women building a career in medicine. You know, obviously, there's the uh, biological clock that we all have to uh, grapple with. Um, you know, because uh, by the time that we finish training, uh, most of us are in the age range of in our late 20s or you know mid to early 30s. Uh, and if you want to start a family, a biological family, that uh, also overlaps with uh, you know sort of a very crucial time in your career. Dr. Roger Wong, a clinical professor in the Department of Medicine at UBC, says over the last 10 years, the university has seen a rapid increase in the number of women in their medical program. 58% of our medical class at UBC are uh, women. And, and that's really important because um, it is a four-year program. Every year we have 288 seats. That's a significant number of our students are, are women. And in fact, this is a trend that has been going on for some time now, over 10 years. So if you are considering the medical field as a career path, here's Dr. Chan's advice for BC's future doctors. What I want to say to my uh, to the future baton passers or people who is going to take the baton from me, I say go for it. It is a very uh, satisfying career. Uh, I mean, you do lose some uh, uh, autonomy, but, you know, the rewards you gain, uh, you know, because as a physician, you're self-employed. Uh, you get to decide your hours and where you work and how you work your own boss. Ashley Burr, City News.